We get asked a lot, what's the easiest way to check to see if the price of your cruise has dropped? There's multiple ways to do this. I've got three that I'm gonna share with you in this video today. One of them super automated. We'll get into it right after this. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? This is Tony with Lalita Loco. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you're brand new here and you're into cruising, consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of our new cruising content. Yeah, so it's a question that every cruiser should be asking. Has the price of my cruise gone down since I booked it? Cruising is one of those industries where prices fluctuate based on supply and demand. So it's very possible that a cruise you booked last year, if it hasn't sold well, if there's more cabins available than the cruise line thought there would be at this point in time, they may reduce the prices on cabins to get more people onto those cruise ships so they can sell them out. And if you've already previously booked that cruise, you're entitled to the benefit of that price decrease. So the big question is, how do you know when your price has gone down? So the first one's pretty manual. You can go to the website of the cruise line and do a mock booking on your cruise. You have to make sure that you select the same cabin type that you have, the same category, and you work all the way through the end of the process. And then at the end, it'll tell you what those cabins are going for currently. And when you compare the prices, if what you did in the mock booking is less than what you originally paid, you should be entitled to a price decrease. You have to call the cruise line and they should be able to work with you there to get you the new price. Another way that you can do this is through your travel agent. Many travel agents keep track of the pricing on the cruise ships that they have people booked on, especially if there's multiple people booked on that cruise ship. And when they notice a price decrease, they will work on your behalf to get that price decrease applied to your sailing. So it's another good reason to work with a travel agent. It gives you another set of eyes for when you have a price decrease. And number three is my favorite way. It is a free feature in the Shipmate app the Shipmate app was developed by the website cruiseline.com, but they provide this app free of charge. It's a great app for tracking your cruise countdown, your past cruises, and it's an also a great way to get notified when the prices go down on the sailing that you are sailing on. So I'm gonna jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how to set up a cruise in the Shipmate app, and I'm gonna show you how to set up price tracking in the Shipmate app, and I will show you what it looks like when you get an alert that the price has gone down on your cruise ship. All right, so let's just jump into the Shipmate app. I really do like the Shipmate app because it gives you some good information. Not only does it tell you the upcoming cruises, uh, but for example, if you have your cruise in there for the Equinox, I can go not only see how long it's going to be until I cruise, but it'll also tell me the itinerary so I can see what days I'm gonna be where, and I really like that aspect of it. And then not only does it show the upcoming cruises, it'll also show you the cruises that you've completed, and you can kind of get that reverse count down there, 43 days since we were on the Carnival Breeze. But the feature that we're here to talk about and the feature that I really like is the price alert feature. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like when you add a new cruise. So I'm gonna add a cruise and let's say, uh, I don't know, let's just pick a ship uh, for example, uh, who knows. Let's look for the Carnival Panorama. That would be a cool ship to go on. And let's see, 2020, I think there is a cruise in March on the 7th. Yeah, let's, this seems like a good just random cruise to add that would be cool in my list. So I'm gonna add that cruise. And now you see down here, March the 7th, 2020, we have the Carnival Panorama. I'm gonna go into it, and if you notice, uh, right here, you see this thing that says price alert. So chat, roll call, right under the dates. Chat, roll call, save cabin, price alert. Now, it tells you what the price is currently, so if we book that cruise today, not like a month ago, if you book that cruise today, that's exactly how much these would be, uh, The probably the lowest categories. 649, 654, 914, 2,104. And if you say that maybe you know you have a balcony and you want a price alert when the prices on balconies go down, you can turn on the price alert by hitting that button. And so now anytime that balconies, and this may not be the balcony that you have, but it's a good indicator that when the prices of balconies go down, maybe you should check your price and make sure that your balcony price hasn't gone down. So now that our alert is set up, 
anytime that the balcony price goes down on the panorama for that sailing, we will get an email. So we're gonna jump out of the Shipmate app and I'm gonna go over to my computer and show you what it looks like when the email comes in. All right, so here we are in my Gmail. Now, uh, my inbox is always a cluttered mess. So let me show you first what one of these emails look like that come from Cruise Line from the Shipmate app. Basically, it's going to tell you that there's been a change in the price on the cabin type that you are uh, looking at. So like this email, this was an inside cabin. Uh, on, on the breeze that we just took recently, there was a price drop prior to us going on the breeze. And so this would have been a good indicator to go and check and see if my price had dropped. Now what I did, because there is such a clutter in my inbox, I used Google's filter system to create a filter called price drops, cruise price drops. And I used the email sender address and then just the words cruise price alert to filter out whenever one of these comes in. So for me, all I need to do every day, now that I've set up that price alert on the panorama, I just need to make a quick stop at my email every day and hit that cruise price drop to see if there's anything new in here. If you're not using Gmail, uh, you could set up an email rule. That's another term that you wanna look for if you're using Outlook or something like that. Set up an email rule that says when you get information from cruiseline.com that has the words cruise price alert, uh, just to send that to another folder. Email is such a drag, you get so much of it. Uh, so when there's something important, I try to make sure I set up a label and that way I can find it. So all you gotta do is just pull up your email, hit the filter or the rule that you set up. You can see if you have any new price alerts and then you can go from there. Again, the big takeaway there is it doesn't know how much you paid for your cruise and so you have to do some thought process to see if the new price is less than what you paid and then either contact your travel agent if that's how you got booked to make sure you get that price reduction or contact the cruise line if you book that way and that way you uh, save some coin. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. Please let me know in the comments uh, what way you use to track your price changes and if you will use this way to track your price changes going forward. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Follow us on all of our social media. And here's a couple more videos from our channel that I think would be helpful for you. Make sure that you check those out. Again, this is Tony with La Lida Loca. Thanks for stopping by and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.